YouTube, it's your boy PHP Harris, and we're back with what has pretty much become my mobile bane of my existence in gaming. Ring 3, ever since they came out with a uh, NASCAR update, I want to say the update before then, uh, that I can't remember for the life of me right now, the event rollouts have been pretty shitty. They've been pretty much just huge giant money sinks of which you need to spend tons of gold and money on just to figure out that you'll never own that car again, unless you're willing to spend like 70 bucks on a mobile game vehicle, which I'm not. So, anyway, they've got the new Asterion's Charge coming out. Uh, just actually released, I want to say, like a couple days ago. And we have six days to enter it. So, I'm going to give this the good old college try and try not to break my phone. Um, but in the meantime, let's go see what this new Lambo is about. Uh, it's the fastest hypercars in the world. Jumping to the Asterion's Charge, a seven-day special event for your chance to win the amazing Lamborghini Asterion LPI 910-4. Say that name five times real fast. Anywho. There we go. New event. Up to 50 gold. Let's see if they've uh, made this worth it. Hey, it's the Arabian dude. My friend! And a long time indeed, I have a favor to ask. My friends and I were debating the new hopper cars and decided we needed to race them rather than argue. The Ferrari LaFerrari, the McLaren P1, the Porsche 918 Spider, and the Lamborghini Asterion LPI Long. I've chosen the Asterion, and with you at the wheel, we can win. You car, you win. You should, you win. Deal? Cool. And, uh, racist accent. We've got stage one, the debate. Goal one of three. We're not looking for second place, so we need to practice if we are going to win this debate. Let's test our Asterion out on a few different events, just so you can get used to her before we begin. Looks like we're racing around Dubai, which I haven't seen many events in Dubai too much, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. So let's start easy with the autocross and see what's where, blah, 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 get the car. Let's see. Let's see, any customization options, anything too good about this? The official point is, I guess, just blue now. Uh, wow. Customization options on the official paint. Uh, I wonder if we get any special vinyls. I'm not like to paint on anyone. Nope, no special vinyls. Let's see, the ride height. A difference of almost two inches. That's actually pretty decent, but it's seven gold to just change the ride height. Not decent enough for me to even give a shit. So let's just go ahead and get to this race. And it seems like the lag is killing me because uh, I'm in the menu and I'm lagging. So hopefully this won't be a total shit show, at least for my first day. But you never know. All right, Dubai Autodrome. We are back, bitches. Be coming back, or I'm gonna have to put this speed, uh, no limits. Again, that'll make me decide. And, and they're not helping its case. That lag is beautiful. Just what I wanted. Mommy, how did you know? This seems to be a new part of Dubai Auto Drama I haven't seen before. Or at least that starting section was. I think I recognize this section. Wow, I've never seen 26 seconds go so long. That was 24 seconds, and it took about a minute to complete. That makes time. It doesn't even make sense time-wise. But at least we got first. That would have been mad if we dealt with all that life and didn't get shit for it. Please just 
rid yourselves of lag, but whatever. Uh, good indication of overall performance of a car. Oh, uh, God, can you tell I'm just, like, still peeved about the NASCAR event? I love NASCAR. I can't believe it was such a shitty rollout for that. I just, nah. And now every day, like, half of my daily, like, uh, half of my daily login bonuses are for the NASCAR thing that I can't. For NASCAR sponsorships, I, I yeah, huge disappointment. But at least I got that other like blank focus car, so at least I got one NASCAR. Thanks. For, but let's just go ahead and get through this one. If I can get this one, it'll turn my upside down. down. Bad boy, facing a whole bunch of ourselves. Making it undrivable. Even the sound is now having errors. This is great. And even the sound cues for the timing is off. I don't know what's going on. This game's totally gone downhill for whatever reason. I didn't know a silent facepalm could radiate just so much hate. That was horrible. Like, I thought it was maybe just lag, just because, I don't know, my CPU trying to catch up just the performance I'm going to ask of it. But I'm just now having issues. And usually when this game lag, it freezes, and input control freezes with it. It was lag. That game control was not freezing. So I was pretty much all over that racetrack, just hitting people and everything in the beginning. I don't know what's going on, but I think there might be a bit of an error here. 
Uh, now I get to race two laps around it, and it seems like the CPU is now warming up and catching up, but I'm still having lag spikes and issues here. This is very disappointing, I must say, and I don't know what about this update is causing that I really just could care less if they apologize, because this will be like the third event or the fourth event, depending on who you talk to, that they've rolled out that's had issues. Out of this game, this game did not have this many issues. It's very disappointing. Probably looking all on Need for Speed, not on this, but... Yeah, come on, EA. Get your thumb out your ass, please. It was all solid. Fix this. Fix this shit, please. All right, it's safe to say my PC uh, CPU is now pretty much caught up. Still having a bit of a lag issue, especially that weird new, like, picture rate lag, but not the actual input lag. Um, I'm going to just give them the benefit of the doubt this first day. Maybe there is an issue, maybe there's not. We'll see when it comes to stage two tomorrow. But until then, I guess we'll just have to... Give them the benefit of the doubt. If this continues, though, I'm definitely not going to sit through seven days of this bullshit. Let me just say that now. Anyway, now I want to run a time trial just so we track your progress. I find the best way to see where you're going is to see where you've come from, no? All right, two or three. We got a time trial that'll probably kill our conditioning and end our first day. Um, usually the first day, you don't need conditioning till the end. But because of all the smashing around, because of all the lag, and possibly because we did five events, if there's a single event for the last one and this one, I'd understand why it may need to take a nap in the garage for a bit. But, oh well. It's daytime, clear visibility, no cars, hopefully no lag. And no lag as of now, so I'm kind of enjoying this.
right, that was pretty slow. Like, hopefully we'll get somewhere in the top. Uh, I would shoot for 30. Hopefully top 10. We're looking at bracket is in the top 20. All right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, what would be top 10? It would be a time somewhere around 110. I posted a time of 123. All right. I'm not, I'm not mad at that. That's a nice time. And we're going to the garage for three hours. So I'm going to cut this video short here and probably do the last event for tomorrow. And, or for today, tomorrow, and probably the start of stage two. So we're already behind, but eh, it's really not our fault. We'll probably figure that out tomorrow. But in the meantime, let's see what the last event will be before we sign off. Beautifully done. I found a few other Lamborghinis for you to compete against to give you an idea of the Asterion. Lap them all just for show. They should be good. But that's the end of this video. My name is Pitch from Harris signing off. I will see you tomorrow for stage two of the Asterion's Charge. In the meantime, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.